Welcome to Alphabet City. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the most amazing audience in the world. Let's talk Pixel. You saw the headline, you know where we're going. Have a seat, grab some popcorn. What is going on with the Google Pixel 4? There are so many things about it that make no sense in 2019. I was looking forward to dumping my Note 8 for the new Pixel 4, but that will not be happening. Why is that? Because the Pixel 4 just does not cut it. Arguably, the 4 would have been great last year, but the competition is incredibly fierce now. Okay, so what's wrong with the Pixel 4? Let's start with battery. The 4 has a 2800 milliamp hour battery, which is smaller than the capacity of the Pixel 3 and 3a. The XL has a 3700 milliamp hour battery, which is larger than the 3XL, but the same as the 3a XL. Battery life on the 4 is not great. The Pixel 4 XL lasted around 11 hours in CNET's prelim tests. Compare that to the 3 XL that lasted 11 minutes shy of 17 hours. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 can go 18 hours between charges. So the Pixel 4 battery is bleh. Moving on to storage. This is a dumpster fire. The 4 and 4 XL come in 64 gig or 128 gig capacities. That is just wrong for a top tier phone in 2019. There's also no ability to add storage using a micro SD card like other Android phones. By the way, the original Pixel topped out at 128 gigs and that was back in 2016. Even Apple's iPhone 11 comes in a 256 gig variant. Apple is a company notorious for keeping around phones with low storage capacities. That way the company could say iPhone starts at insert some reasonable price here. But what about using Google's cloud storage to free up space? That is an option for the Pixel 4. When Google introduced the original Pixel, the phone came with free unlimited photo and video uploads at full resolution. That meant you wouldn't have to worry too much about the on-device storage. Now this has changed to unlimited photos and video uploads at high quality, starting with the Pixel 3a and continuing with the 4. If you want full quality stuff uploaded, that will count against your Google Cloud Storage. Here's what's even weirder. If you get the Pixel 3, which is still on sale, you get the original deal, unlimited free storage and original quality for all photos and videos uploaded to Google Photos through January 31st, 2022. The most expensive Pixel 3 is the 3 XL and it tops out at $700. For a cheaper phone, you get a better cloud storage option, the 3, also comes with USB-C earbuds and a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter for regular headphones. The 4 comes with no dongle or headphones either. There are good things about the Pixel 4. The new version of Assistant was very impressive. Some of the features in the new Assistant are heading to the older Pixels, including the 3. But there is one big advantage of the 4. Its hardware allows for Assistant to work faster since Assistant doesn't have to talk to the cloud every time you ask it to do something. The Pixel 4's camera is outstanding. Its astrophotography feature is coming to older Pixels as well, although Google told me that the quality of these kinds of photos will be better on the 4. Everything really hinges on the price. If the Pixel 4 was like $400, no one could complain. The 4 starts at $799 for the 64 gig model, $899 for the 128. At 100 bucks more, for the 4XL versions. That means the top of the line 4XL is around a thousand bucks. You can get a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 with 256 gigs of storage for $949. The 10 plus is 1100 bucks, but you get the option of adding a micro SD card. The iPhone 11 with 128 gigs of storage is $750. The 11 Pro starts at 999, but that has 64 gigs of space. So that's kind of black too. The Pixel just does not have the same pull as the original. When the company introduced the Pixel, it was the first phone to have Google Assistant built in. Now, it's everywhere. The Pixel's camera was the best camera on any phone, but the competition has caught up for the most part. The cloud storage perk was another draw, but that's kind of gone. The original Pixel also had a wedge design. That meant the bottom of the phone was thinner than the top. This let Google put the camera flush with the phone's back. This was specifically called out by Google when it introduced the Pixel phone in 2016. That's gone too. If Google wants people to pick up the Pixel, there needs to be a new draw to set it apart. It does not offer a great value. It does not offer any great perks. It doesn't have an amazing design. It does have motion sense. The radar-based system is very cool for unlocking the device, 
But otherwise, it's not enough to get people to move to a Pixel. Here's hoping Google figures out something awesome for the Pixel 5. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. Oh, and if you're interested in the new Nvidia Shield, check out this video why it's awesome. If you want to find out why Google needs to make a Pixel Watch right now, check this out. I'm Aya Zaktar and I'll see you online.